Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Open Studio for Data Integration. In this tutorial, we will continue working with our processing data family components. So, as part of this, we will be working on degregate row component. To understand uh, T aggregate row better, basically T aggregate row will perform a wide range of aggregations. So we are taking a sales data and our requirement is to get the grand total for each of these available items when pen set pencil desk binder. So let's go ahead and connect sales data to the aggregate row and take the required columns Okay, item and total are the two fields that we are not we are interested in, and we are doing the group by an item, and we are trying to find the grand total. So we need to do a sum to get the grand total, and then link it to the T log row, and then from this job and see what will be the So for pencil, we have a grand total of 2045. Let's go ahead and compare the result with the source data. So this is a pencil. Let's see the grand total. 2045.22. 2045.22. So take aggregate row E can be used to perform aggregate functions in talent such as sum, count and few other advanced aggregate functions. Those are list and in this we have distinct count if we have duplicates in it we can use count distinct that will provide the distinct count and let's take a look at what list aggregate function will do. So for that we create a new job let's take the sales data and let's get the degregate row So let's take the example of items and region. So we have three regions and each region has these items associated to them. So let's identify the different items available for each region. So for that let's go ahead and select region and then items. So we are doing group by on region and let's use the aggregate function list on item. So save the job, run the job. There you go. So we have these three regions and 
this is how the dist aggregator function will work and if you want to so what it does is take the region sorry region select first so two pencils binder desk pen and binder so two binders basically pencil two pencils and then desk so two pencils binder desk pen and binder so it will it is doing basically string aggregation based on the region so if this is the region then it will aggregate these sorry, aggregate these items together separated by comma if you want to change the delimiter we can certainly do that in the advanced setting option delimiter if we change it to 5 let's run this and the output will change from change from comma to pipe and this is how the result looks like so that is the functionality of list aggregator function let's go ahead and find out the difference between t aggregator row and t aggregated sorted row we have these two components both the components has similar aggregator functions available in them the only difference is the aggregator row we have we are not sorting the data but all our aggregator aggregations are working properly as desired whereas the aggregate sorted row needs the data to be sorted beforehand before it performs aggregator functions let's go ahead and create a job take the sales data degree sorted row the other important option the T aggregate sorted row needed is the input data count pass some you know approximate number to it and then edit the schema let's take the first example we are taking item and we are taking total and we are finding the grand total so link it and then go to the group by group by an item So if you see we have not got the desired result because if, if you see the we have saw a group we did the group by an item but we see multiple same items repeated multiple times so that means our t aggregate sorted row didn't work as expected so the reason for that is we are not our data is not sorted in the source so we need to sort the data explicitly before we send the data to t aggregate sorted row let's get rid of these components and import the sales data use the t sorted row to sort the data Then we are 
will set in the data based on item and this field is alpha and the ascending order so we are sorting the data explicitly based on our item field then take the t aggregate sorted row now because the data is sorted we can perform the aggregate operation then go ahead and give a count and then let's edit the schema take the required columns we are interested in item and its grand total and then create the group by an item sum on total so let's take sum there you go so we got the perfect result Let's go ahead and compare with our previous results. So, binder, this is the value per desk. The sum is matching per pen. Everything has matched exactly. So, that's the basic difference between T aggregate sorted row and T aggregate row. T aggregate sorted row always needs the data to be sorted beforehand. Rest, all the aggregator functions are similar between these two components. There is no difference. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You all have a wonderful day.